Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9 and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire. I went ahead and headed back here from from the get past the swamp and all that. Uh, Nina leveled up and learned Fort X during that time, which that's really cool. It's a mast cast uh, fortitude, so it hits the whole party. Uh, Blue also leveled up and learned Char. We'll test that out the next time we get. Uh, cost 36 AP should be very damaging. I believe it's a multi-target fire spell. So we'll see how much damage it really does. Um, I'm already fused. Gobi gained a level. Sorry, not Gobi. <laughs> Mogu gained a level. And I think that's about it. So, we're back at this place. Let's try going to the right this time. Hope I don't get lost. Probably going to get lost now. Oh well. Let's try this path so I can kind of show them both off. Another blaze. Hit. Not going to cast char. <laughs> Fire being. Though, I probably do really good damage anyway, but... The flame rapier static. It's funny, you would think the blaze would take less damage from a fire rapier. Fire rapier. <laughs> but it always does 90. That's cool. Remove this curse real quick. Here we go. And let's see what we got this way. Ah, invisible switch. There's that. Um. Oh, some more of these guys. More zooms. I don't know why they're called zooms. <laughs> Doesn't make too much sense to me. Smack, you're dead. But, whatever. Blue Ridge level 30. Cool. HP up 9. A lot of AP. You can always expect that. Nova has been learned. That sounds fancy. Don't quite remember Nova. Oh, there's an invis switch. Yeah, I knew it had to happen sometime. <laughs> oh, Flame Rapier, you swing. Ah, uh, you know what? Why not? Let's go ahead and try Nova. Uh, it hits all enemies, okay. Blast, Nova. Ah! Flash. Lots of flashing lights. Okay. <laughs> I'll... I'll keep that one in mind. Probably won't cast that one too much. <laughs> Don't want to give you all watching a headache. I'd hate to do that. <laughs> Very good damage though. 200 damage. That's really good. To all enemies as well. Definitely keep that one in, in mind. Flame Rapier. Eh, Thunder Rapier will work. Get some damage out. And rapier. Not quite enough. Close though. Uh, attacking the whole party. Ha! You're gonna get this casted back on you. Twice! Almost killed them that way. That would have been awesome. Killed via counter spell. But that's why I like the angle armor. I think it's really neat. Not a lot of damage, but with both characters doing it, that's pretty handy. Hey, we're here. Wow. That's a much shorter trip, I think. That time, so... Very cool. Uh, right before I talked to the NPC. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. And... Stab your dad. Now, let's talk to the NPC. <laughs> you may have found courage, but that doesn't mean you've won. I'll be at the top of the tower. Come and get me if you dare. Oh, I dare. Oh, joy. Another one of these. Well, now I really don't know where I'm going, so... Here we go. Step it begins. Again, just re reiterate what I said last episode. 
Um, if you have marble threes, now may be a good time to use them. If you if you don't need the experience, obviously, go ahead, fight, gather the gather the experience because the experience is pretty good in this area, especially if you run into those warthog warhog exes. Uh, they didn't seem to do much, so they may have some tricks up their sleeve. Be wary. These guys are just annoying. These blazes. Uh, no. Save the AP for now. Just use the Thunder Rapier. It's that really high physical defense that they have. If they had just a little bit lower physical defense, it wouldn't be an issue. Now, that was the single target one. Or, if Shin crits, it's also not much of an issue. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and cure up. There we go. And th this is one of the more annoying areas. For sure, to me. You know, some people enjoy areas like this. I must say, as much as, much as I really don't like it, it's really clever for its time. Uh, trying to think of games... Because this is going to be a lot of me slamming into the walls and, and fighting, so... New topic! <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of games that have done this recently. The whole invisible wall thing. You, you don't see it that much anymore. Nothing really pops into my mind. You know, recent RPG or action game or something along those lines that uses this mechanic. So, but at the time, you know, you remember this is an SNES game. You know, that's that's pretty, you know, pretty clever, I think, to use this and have have this be a maze. But like I said I'm not too good with mazes. Okay, can't go either of those ways. Um. Here we go. Watch your interaction. <laughs> if you remember a game or a game that uses this type of mechanic that you really liked with the whole invisible wall thing and you had to, you know, feel your way around to get through uh, that you really enjoyed, let me know in the comments. And okay, I can actually see right now. Uh, let's head this way. I'm not sure where the exit is. Uh, like I was saying, leave a, you know, leave a comment. Let, let me know if you have a game that's, that you really, really liked, that had this, had a mechanic like this in it. I'm sitting here thinking, and I've played a lot of RPGs. Oh, nice. Way to hit, way to hit Nina. I can't think of a game like that. Just off the off the top of my head. Just go ahead and heal up there. Oh, where are the stairs out of here? Uh, there's the stairs down. <laughs> I let's try heading up now. And th this room's even more confusing than the last room. <laughs> I got kind of lucky with with it. It wasn't as bad as I. As I remember it, this one's a pain. Oh, nice level up. Oh. A lot of HP. Oh, pretty good level up. Okay. Guess we'll head up here in this way. And this is going to be a lot of trial and error. This place. You know. <laughs> I apologize now if this is... This is kind of boring, but this is the nature of this dungeon. <laughs> Unless you know exactly where to go or have been here before and drawn a map to kind of let you know where you've been, this is what it's going to be. Oh, there's another st Ah, there are the stairs. Good. Okay, there are the stairs. 
<laughs> That's step one, fi finding the way out. Now it's getting there. <laughs> Oh, I always knew this would be the the toughest part of helping. We're just gonna escape. <laughs> Gee, I need to get out of this area. <laughs> that's that's flee. <laughs> Twenty AP. Go away! Oh, you're joking me. I didn't see that. I'm just gonna get through with this fight and pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> Uh, just fl oh. Dow cast ice. This is also another reason I highly recommend loading your inventory with acorns. That way you can use spells freely, get through battles quicker. Oh, great. And then there's an invisible switch here. A dead end and an invis switch. Jeez. <laughs> Terrible. That's terrible. Wow. Well, we're going to be in here for a while longer. <laughs> and I'm sure one of you may say, well, why don't you just cut this part out and just have it go where the stairs are? Well, I really don't want to do that. I, I, I I want to be the kind of LP -er that shows win, lose, or draw. If it goes bad, it goes bad. But I think that's what makes it fun, having, having these types of experiences where you go, Oh man, this guy's an idiot. He should have gone this way, this way, and that way. And you're laughing at me right now. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. That's... That's the point, is where you're watching and you're having fun. i level up for blue. Awesome. Did you learn a new spell? Ice X. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, let's, let's take a... Well, let's heal first. Uh, let's take a look at that. Ice, 48 AP. Jeez. That should do some serious damage, though. Let's head this way. There it is. I see the way out. We made it. <laughs> Yay. As we get through with these fights. Ow. Yeah, you've got your big defense, but... There's that. Okay. Now we can get out of here. <laughs> but just really briefly back on that, that previous topic. I want to show everything. Oh, great. Another room. Okay. Well, we're going to have more time to talk. <laughs> this video is running... Ah, eh. oh, whatever. It can be a really long video. Another invis room. We'll, we'll slug through it. But I, if, if it's a place we've already been, like I cut out the trip back from the South Cave back here to the North Tower, you've already seen that. There's no reason for me to be bumbling around and showing all that off again. And I, don't, I don't think you really want to sit through that. There's the invisible switch. Oh, red switch here. Okay. Choose a path. That's basically what I'm sensing here. You know, I don't think you all want to see backtracking like that and yeah I don't I don't see a point in it um, a few people which are, that are watching this LP at the time if you think or you would like to see the backtracking more let me know yeah you know, like in the description I know we're what video is this <laughs> what episode is this 52 I believe this will this will be episode 52 if you know this is my first LP if you would like to see more backtracking let me know 
you'd like to see more things like that. I really appreciate your comments, your suggestions, things things of that nature. Because I've I'm still learning and testing things out and kinda how I, I wanna do things. Right now the way I'm doing things, any like major backtracking, just cut it out. But things like this, even when I'm struggling <laughs> trying to find the way out, though I just there's the stairs finally. I want to show that. That's that's part of the game. I feel it needs to be shown off. You know, I'm no expert. Things are going to happen. <laughs> but I just feel it's one of those things that needs to be shown off. Let's go ahead and cast Ice X. Why not? Kill. Oh, that's a fancy animation. I like that. 375. Okay, he's probably weak to cold, though. So don't do less than that, but that's still a lot of damage. That'll be good. I uh, got an acorn. Go ahead. And, uh, use up the stack, why not? Okay. Invis switch. This wow. Really? And there's the guy. What was the point of that? <laughs> what well, just uh to make the point clear of the whole invis, not invis walls thing, that seemed a little needless to me, honestly. <laughs> Why? Why have that there? Okay. Fighting in the dream world is not the same as the real world. Fine. Now, you don't have to have Mogu fighting. He just has to be in your party. So keep that in mind. Don't think you have to use him. You don't. So I'm not going to. Ford X. Show this off. For the first time. And, oh yeah. Cast the biggest spell. Cast the biggest spell we have. This is why we have acorns. So I see you'll cast uh, Fort on the whole group with Ford X. Transform into the Thunder Dragon. Bolt Dragon, as they call it. Poison. Ha, huh, miss. 250. Okay, that's the damage you're going to get out of Ice X, unless they're weak to it. Very expensive, but... And it only hits one target. But for, like, a boss situation like this... You know, use what you got. Ice X, take 250. Now, we're not going to get to see Mothro's HP. I guess this is his special power for being in the, the dream world. We'll go with that. But, still, fight him like any other boss. Keep your, keep your party healed. He's just using a lot of <laughs> status effects. And you can't poison Ryu, not in his dragon form, so forget you. Might as well just keep using the flame rapier. Got the. Got no one to heal. So. Stick. Timeout. Ah, you missed. That really big stun. That's just. Uh. Oh, there's his little power thing. Annoying. He can sometimes just completely dodge, as you, as you can see. It's you, you get the whole mirror image effect, and he dodges. Really, really annoying. I'm not sure. Nice crit. Shock, no! Okay. Whew. Counter. That's the instant kill spell. That's the one danger you have with this guy. Oh, Mothro, that's cheap. <laughs> oh, you're dead now anyway. He dodged that critical hit. From Ryu. Wow. Well, blue leveled up. That was cheap, Mothro. You die. Fire X has been learned. Cool. And level up for Gobi. Woo. You've beat me, but you're still trapped in this world forever! Oh, what? You're gonna be a sore loser? Okay. Yep, sore loser. He's gonna try to trap us into this dream world forever. I say try because, well, not going to work, obviously. <laughs> wouldn't be much, wouldn't be, you know. 
much of a story. If, well, that's it. The end. <laughs> they got trapped in the dream world forever. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, look who's here. Hi. Thank you for saving my grandson. I'm so happy to see all of you. You're welcome. Logu, I was so worried about you. Well, I had a dream. I had a dream. Okay. And you were in it. Yeah, we were, actually. <laughs> we were in your dream. In fact, it didn't seem like a dream at all. Yeah, not so much a dream. Uh, it was a dream, but... No, I'm, I'm not going... My mind, my courage, it was real. Yep. I'm not going Inception. Anyway, could I join your party again? Very good movie, though. I really liked it. Yes, you can join our party again. Thank you all. Mogu joins the party. For real this time. <laughs> now he's permanently part of our party. Be nice to my brother. We will. Please look after Mogu. We will. Yes, yes. Okay. With that, transform back into Shen. And let's rearrange the party. You here, and there we go. Well, that completes the whole Dream World segment. Yay. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't, don't save yet. Let's, let's heal first. I believe this is the inn? No. Is there an inn here now that I think about it? I don't think there is, actually. Okay, go ahead and save then. Yes. Been recorded, good luck. Okay. Well, that does it for this episode of Let's Play Breath of Fire. Next time, we're going to continue on. Now that we have Mogu, there's a couple things we can do. So, I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.